Let us solve some more questions on ages. We have the first question right there. The sum of the present ages of a father and his son is 60 years. Six years ago, father's age was five times the age of the son. After six years, the son's age will be. So let the present ages of father and son be x and y. The sum of their ages is given, which is 60 years. So x plus y is equals to 60. Now six years ago, the father's age was five times the age of the son. So six years ago, which means x minus six is equals to the age was five times the age of his son. So five times y minus six. Now we have been asked after six years, the son's age will be. So the son's age is y, the present age is y. So after six years, we have y plus six. And that is what we have to find out. Now let us solve this further. x is equals to 5y minus 6 by the 30 plus 6. So x is equals to 5y minus 24. Let's put this value of x here to get the value of y. So x is 5y minus 24 plus y is equals to 60. So we have 5y plus y is 6y is equals to 60 plus 24 and therefore y is equal to 60 plus 24 is 84 by 6 and that is equals to y's age will be equal to 14 years so y's age is 14 years the present age but we have been asked the age after 6 years that is the son's age after 6 years which is equals to 14 plus 6 and that is 20 years so the right option is option D. Let us move on to the second question. The age of a man is three times the sum of the ages of his sons. Five years hence, his age will be double the sum of their ages of his sons. The father's present age is. So let the age of that man be x and that is equal to three times the sum of the ages of his two sons. So let the ages of his two sons be a and b so 3 times a plus b now 5 years hence his age will be double the sum of the ages of his sons so 5 years hence which is x plus 5 will be equal to it will be double the sum of the ages of his sons so 2 times the ages of his sons taken the sum of them so we have x plus 5 plus b plus 5 Therefore, x plus 5 is equals to 2 times a plus b plus 5 plus 5 is 10. And that is equal to x plus 5 is equal to 2 times a plus b plus taking the 10 outside, we have 20. 2 times 10 is 20. But we have the value of a plus b and that is x by 3 is equals to a plus b. Put this value of a plus b here and get the value of x. So this is equal to x plus 5 is equal to twice of a plus b is x by 3. So 2x by 3 plus 20. So x is equal to 2x by 3 plus 20 minus 5 is 15. And that is x is equal to 2x plus 15 times 3 is 45 by 3. This 3 goes to the left, so we have 3x. So 3x minus 2x is x is equal to 45. So the father's age is 45 years. Rajan got married 8 years ago. His present age is 6 by 5 times the age at the time of his marriage. Rajan's sister was 10 years younger to him at the time of his marriage. The age of Rajan's sister is. So let the present age of Rajan be x. So his present age is 6 by 5 times the age at the time of his marriage. So x is equal to 6 by 5 times the age when he got married. So he got married 8 years ago. So the age when he got married is equal to x minus 8. Now we have been given that Rajan's sister was 10 years younger to him at the time of his marriage. So he got married 8 years ago. So his sister at that time was 10 years younger to him. 
So let the Rajan's sister's age be y years. So y is equal to x minus 10. And we have to find out the age of Rajan's sister. So y is what we have to find out. So from this equation we get 5x is equal to 6 times x is 6x minus 6 are 48. So 5x minus 6x is minus x is equal to minus 48. So x is equal to 48 years. So we have x put it here in this equation to get the value of y. So y is equal to 48 minus 10 and that is equal to 38. So y's age that is Rajan's sister's age is 38 years presently. Let us solve the final question. The sum of the ages of five children born at the intervals of three years each is 50 years. What is the age of the youngest child? Okay, let the age of this youngest child be x years and it is given that the children are born at the intervals of three years each and there are five children. So the youngest is x. The next child older to him will be older by three years. So the next child is x plus three and the next will be x plus 3 plus 3 which is x plus 6. The next, the fourth will be x plus 6 plus 3 which is x plus 9 and the fifth that is the oldest will be x plus 12. So this sum is given as 50 years. We have to find out x. So let us write the sum x plus x plus 3 plus x plus 6 plus x plus 9 plus x plus 12 is equals to 50. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x plus 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, 18 plus 12 is 30 and that is equals to 50. So 5x is equals to 50 minus 30 is 20 therefore x is equal to 20 by 5 that is 4. So the age of youngest child is 4 years.